Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome back to the training. In this setup of Facebook ads, we're going to be creating a uh, fan page that we're going to advertise our offer from. But before we do that, we really want to know what we're going to promote. So we're going to keep it really, really simple here at the beginning and we're just going to promote obviously a completely white hat clean offer that does really, really well on Facebook. So I'm over here at Max Bounty and you're more than welcome to follow along with this campaign. The campaign we're going to grab and one thing I want to show you actually before we go forward is if you go to search campaigns, there's a good category that you can run on Facebook. I'm going to give you some offers that convert really good on Facebook. The category you want to be in is e-commerce. E-commerce does really well on Facebook. Facebook doesn't usually like the, the whole trials things, the Garcinia, anything to do with the weight loss or anti-aging. So instead we go to e-commerce and just click on search campaigns which I'm there, and I'll usually sort by the highest EPC to the lowest. And I'm going to show you some good offers that you can do. Now, keep in mind, you know, some of them are not social, but I just want to show you this first one, just so you know it's out there. Look, there's actually T-Mobile that advertises here on a paper call. It's got a $12 EPC. Um, they have my PC backup. I probably wouldn't run that tracker, and we're going to be running that. I'll show you that in a minute. There's the Dr. Seuss Book Club, and I'll show you this one as well. Okay. This one you have to request approval to run, and uh, you would just click on that. But look at this offer. It has a really good EPC. You could run this on Facebook. Let me show you the offer. This is one that does really, really well on Facebook. In our other accounts, we do have it actually approved and running. In our demo account, not yet. Um, basically, uh, the user gets four books for just 99 cents. So they're, they're um, enrolling into a subscription, and they pay 99 cents today, and this company is going to pay you $10.40. So very, very simple. What you would do is you'd use a, a picture of like the cat in the, you know, the cat in the hat or um, even the Grinch in your ad. And then you'd make an ad copy saying get, you know, four of your favorite Dr. Boost books for just 99 cents each. So very, very simple. And I'll probably even show you how to set that up as an example. So this is something that you can run and it's a clean offer. All right, we're going to go back. And the offer I'm going to first set up with you guys is this tracker campaign. So what tracker is, it's a, basically a really small coin sized device and it lets people track their items with their mobile phone. Now this does extremely, extremely well. Look at the network EPC. Let's look at the landing page. Yes, we can run this on Facebook. You can run this in search as well. And this is what it looks like. They raised over a million dollars on Indiegogo. There's a video. So this is a great campaign. We're going to run this. So that being said, the first thing we need to do is create a fan page, which is what this video is about. So we're going to go ahead and create a page and we're going to make it relevant to our offer. So you're going to choose a category. We'll do, I usually go under brand or product and you're just going to choose a category that would work. So it's going to be electronics. And we're not going to, you know, we're not going to steal their brand name and name our page tracker, but we're going to do something like, um, you know, never lose your keys or we can name the page lost it, find it. You know what I mean? Something like that. So we'll do lost it, find it. You can come up with a creative name for your page. And really, we're only going to use this page to advertise just that uh, tracker. You're going to tell people what your page is about. Okay. And what you can do is if you go over to Max Bounty, you can actually just copy and paste this description, right? This campaign's not too strict on it. Basic, they just want sales, basically. Um, then your website link, you could put your affiliate link there. Um, if you probably put in the direct link, Facebook may not allow that, so you may need a domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that blank. But if you have your own domain, you can put that there. We'll click Save Info. And then, you know, you're going to upload your profile picture. So if you go online, I'll show you right now. I'm going to go to Google, which I'm there. <clears throat> We're going to just do tracker. And go to images. And you can find an image for your thumbnail, which is really cool because this is a great campaign. Uh, we could just use this, right? And I'll go ahead and put that in there right now. 
Okay, and you do want to, you know, make your page. You want to do as much with your page as you can possible. If you don't want to leave it incomplete, because then you know your visitors that come to the page may not have as much trust. And then this is going to want to know your audience. Really, don't do anything here. Just click Save or Skip. Let it go with the defaults. And I would add a cover photo too. So once again, go to Google Images, add a cover photo. So you're just setting up and prepping your fan page. What you want to do is add a cover, you know, add some content. It's going to kind of give you a tour. But that's the basics. And then what I would probably do next is let's go back to our Facebook homepage since we're going to be creating it anyways. Let's go ahead and create a page. And then we can do, you know, same thing, brand or product. We can go here, baby goods, kids goods. We could do that. Let's see if there's any other categories. We're going to set up our Dr. Seuss too. So we'll make a fan page that says, I love Dr. Seuss. Okay. And then we'll click get started. Same process, except here, you know, you're going to go back up here and we're going to do cat, oops, cat in the hat. Right, because everybody knows Cat in the Hat. Once again, a description. So if we go back over here to the uh, Dr. Seuss Book Club, we're going to set up this fan page. We can take out the holiday season part. Okay, and then save info. And let's see if we can get a good, oh, right here, perfect. So you can see how these would work out. You don't have to deal with shipping or anything like that. Customer completes the 99 cent purchase and then you get paid $10. And um, if you set up your ads the right way, it's, it's pretty easy to accomplish that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get that uploaded. Same process next. And you're gonna just finish uh, designing your page the way that you like it. But the more complete, the better. Filling out the little information. Um, we'll go ahead and click on save and we have our two pages set up that we're going to be doing offers for so that's the basics of setting up your fan page getting them prepped I, I it is better to do niche specific fan pages than it is to go broad i mean you could make one fan page and name it like cool awesome stuff and run a lot of different ads but it's better to get niche specific because then you have a, a really you know tight fan base of people who love, for example, pet owners, and then you can market other pet products to them. Where you kind of have a general thing and you start spreading it out, then you don't know who likes what. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So I do like going niche specific for every thing that you do. Create a you know a fan page just for that product. It's just one simple step. You'll tend to get better results. And the great thing about that is when you create lookalike audiences, you can create a lookalike audience off that fan page to find new customers. Where if you were to do um, you know, a broad fan page with a lot of different interests there, it's kind of hard to find targeted customers. Good example is if you're running a Harry Potter campaign, and you're trying to find more Harry Potter customers. If you created a niche specific page, you then could create a lookalike audience after you, you know, after you run enough traffic to the page and Facebook will be able to find more customers relevant to you. So keep that in mind and I will see you in the next video.